Hey guys, it's Snow Chaser with another video. We're currently in war with the Indonesian clan, and there's 10 hours left in the war. But we've got already at least 10 three stars. They've got like one. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this war, um, just because we're better players. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen our last video, just another introduction. We're a 100% fair play clan, interest uh, focused on getting three stars on Town Hall 11. Now a lot of people think that Town Hall 11 is very difficult to 3 star or almost impossible and uh, whoever uh, claims to have a 3 star clan, uh, I mean wh whoever claims to be able to 3 star Town Hall 11 is a modder. I've heard that a lot before but it is simply not the case. Um, if you guys play in the Clan World Leagues, um, you'll know that most of the Town Hall 11 attacks in Clan World League are not 3 stars versus other Town Hall 11s. There are more Town Hall 11 versus 10 bully attacks. And the reason is because the format of the Clan World League only allows a clan to have about like three different Town Hall 11s. But in a war, like in our clan, for example, we have 40 Town Hall 11s. So we are free to do three star Town Hall, Town Hall, Town Hall 11 three star attempts. And, you know, we can screw up, you know, like once twice three times sometimes it even takes like five to nine different attacks to crack down a base but eventually we're gonna get it down because everybody is working on three starting strategies so if you're a town hall 11 close to max and you're interested in learning three starring strategies feel free to check us out because uh, we're fair play we're very active and uh, our wars are very fun for town hall 11s so this is done by our clan world lead, uh, I mean clan leader, Tinji. He has like six accounts and he does like 12 attacks every single war or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this guy does for a living, but uh, he's nuts. And he gets a lot of three stars every war. So, um, there's not much to this attack, actually. Uh, I actually just want to go over, I want to show you guys again this base. This is actually an example of what a bad base is. And um, if you see this kind of base, if, if our client sees this kind of base in war, chances are we're going to 3 star it. And there are a few reasons that why I make it bad. First of all, very easily noticeable, the queen is way too exposed, so we can get rid of the queen easy. And this inferno is so close to the queen, we send a kill squad into this compartment. We know we're going to get rid of this inferno as well. And probably the client's castle troops as well, along with it. Second weakness is the placement of the air defenses. Sure, they're placed nicely in four symmetrical corners. But the problem is, um, they make such a perfect, perfect location for your hounds to tank literally everything in, in the base. Like if, imagine if you had a helm sitting on top of this air defense, these two, these three archer towers, these three wizard towers, these two expos, they're all going to be uh, hitting the helm. And meanwhile, you can send your balloons lined up nicely in a line against ev onto every single defense, and you're just gonna get like. And you don't even need hastes. The balloons are never going to take any damage, and they're going to slow. They're going to quickly creep up onto this air defense and take it down. And literally, all these defenses take nothing other than hitting the hound. And it's the same case over here. It's the same case over here. So it makes it really very easy to um, to basically path your balloons. So let's let's take a look at the attack again. And this time, you see, we can just create a funnel on this side by using a haste and two balloons, I think three balloons, and then two minions to create a funnel, and then use the warden. Uh, whenever you use a ground warden, always try to use it as something to create a funnel because this range is so huge. And then just send out your bowlers and your kill squad. If you time everything well, you know, a lot of defenses are going to go down when the balloons are under rage and under rewarded ability. And once that's down, you can see this sweeper is actually pointed south. So 
literally the balloons have nothing to work to um to stop them from pathing inside the sweeper is not going to do anything and then the balloons just kind of path over everything super quickly and i'm pretty sure this attack is done under like two minutes or something like that so um this is an example of what a bad base is currently uh, don't go for the symmetrical uh, air defense placements because it's only going to help the enemy attack you with that loom. Moving on, I've also got a 3 star this war. This is also, um, I wouldn't say this is a bad base, but I would call this like, I would rate this like a 5 out of 10. The previous base would be like a 2 out of 10 kind of base. This is a little bit better. But the, play, but the location of the Inferno and the Queen, I have no idea why the Queen is outside and I have no idea why the Inferno is so close to the Queen because it just makes it so easy for the balloons, uh, for your bowler kill squad to path in, take out the Queen, air defense and the Inferno and the track Clan Castle troops and get rid of literally everything. They're all positioned nicely together and um, I made a, a, quite a few mistakes actually though in this attack, but I still got a 3 star. For example, I didn't put the poison on the wizard towers, so the wizard towers ended surviving and I totally forgot about my queen ability. But you notice how there's 4 cannons over here in this pocket, so the 3 balloons that I sent over here are going to get rid of all the cannons, and that's super good in terms of value. And then I also made the mistake of not freezing this ego, this air defense, together with that inferno. Uh, but instead, I only froze a ground expo. But still, like uh, the base was, and they got all these uh, ground expos for whatever reason. And uh, just because of all these weird placements and crappy location of the defenses, despite making all these mistakes, I was still able to get a three star. And uh, I was pretty happy with this attack personally because I have not been 3 starring for quite a few wars. And this was one of the first 3 stars I've done in a long long time since I joined Regulators. Um, so yeah, eyes were a little watery but I made it done. And uh, But that's the thing, when you have 40 people in a clan, you can work towards those 3 star strategies. And there's a lot of people that can give you tips on how to make it work and uh, it makes the wars exciting for Town Hall 11s and uh, so if you're interested do check us out a lot of times I hesitate to show golem bowlers and witch attacks because first of all I don't know what to call them. If I say go bitch, then somebody's gonna make a joke about it in the video. But um, yeah, if I say golem bowlers and witches, it's so awkward to say. And uh, and also the in terms of strategy, it's not really that complicated. So if I show a video like this, it's gonna be the same shenanigans over and over. We drop the wizards. Um, the witches and the bowlers, the healers on the side, you drop the main squad into the center, you try to time it so that your main kill squad is taking the fire from everything so that the stuff on the sides can roam freely and get into the core, and then you just jump, jump, rage, rage, heal, or rage again, and then use your warden ability, and then you kind of get everything down. But there are two tips that uh, I think might be interesting to mention. And uh, one thing is our clan starting to use giant bombs on the outer skirts. Like we will place a giant bomb near this corner and then we'll a giant bomb around this corner. And we'll cover it on all four corners of the base. And the reason is because uh, knowing that a lot of people on Town Hall 11 is going to use Go Pitch as their attack strategy, we want to prevent their three stars. And in order to prevent it, uh, if you have the giant bombs on the outer skirts, they can do a lot of damage to the... Uh, bowlers and witches that are trying to uh, move their way into around the sides of the base. And, and also, uh, we, we prefer to use a hound and a loon in clan castle troops because when the queen 
when the enemy queen is working towards the core, that hound is going to delay a lot of damage. And the longer you stall the troops from clearing your core, the longer your own defenses are going to do damage to uh, the attacking troops. So that overall will make this um, will make it much harder for golem bowlers and witches to win an attack. So I'm just gonna skip all these go bitch attacks because they're a lot easier to. Um, they're they're like you can see all these videos online. It's not very that in, not that interesting. I still think that La Lune is the most interesting attack strategy because it's the most complicated, most skill dependent, and uh, every time you see all these minions clear out the final few buildings. It's just so pretty. I think, uh, yeah, it's it's much more fun to play it that way. So a beautiful funnel is created, and once that warden takes that final building, the barbarian king, the queen, and the bowlers are gonna get into the core. So I think in the previous video I've shown you guys like a lot of attacks where the queen is used. Um, to create a funnel and not as part of the main attacking troops because the enemy has hound and loons in clan castle but in this war they have a lot of other troops um, so we kind of send the queen into the core and you can see the queen can do massive damage to any other troop uh, in defensive troop in the clan castle because under a poison a rage the queen is is will just snipe everything down so um, it actually makes attacking a lot easier whenever we see a clan with a with a random stuff in the clan castle and not hounds and loons our success rate and the number of three stars that we can do in our clan uh, goes a lot higher Here's another base that's fairly common. We've seen it quite a bit, not, not as much recently because I think this base is starting to rotate out of popularity. But uh, our clan have, I've seen maybe like, almost like over 10 different three stars by various different people in the clan against this exact layout. And literally every time we just kind of use quick to create an opening on this side and then send in your kill squad into the center and because um, the queen if pathed correctly she will take out not only all these defenses and the queen and the clan castle a lot of times this eagle will be taken down as well and even if it doesn't and even if the eagle is not taken down like in this attack um, it, it, you, you would create such a nice opening for your troops that the pathing becomes really clean and easy for the rest of your loons and hounds because all the defenses are lined up nicely so you can pinpoint or surgical drop your loons and never waste a single loon on a single on the defense and that just makes attack simple and this is one of the advantages of being in uh, a clan full of town hall 11s because you know we have the luxury to play around with strategies and we will recognize the bases that people have consistently three starred such as this one and we have strategies and ways to crack them down and that's why uh three star in town hall 11s is not as crazy as it seems because we've seen these bases a lot of bases have similarities and we, with experience we figure we can start to slowly figure out how to three star um different types of bases
And that's why our clan leader, Tinji, who has no life and has six different Town Hall 11 accounts, he's always able to get a few three stars in war. It's completely fair play, I believe, uh, but he just has no life. And he has a lot of experience, and um, yeah, he's a noob. And I think that's it. Uh, here's here's something that we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, it's a ring base, so um, there's really no explanation needed for this kind of attack. And that'll be it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this war. And uh, those are the highlights so far. Um, yeah. So one final shameless plug about Regulators Elite. We're always looking for um, Max Town Hall 11s. They're looking to figure out ways to 3-star on the Town Hall 11's level. If you're interested, check us out clan and uh, message Tinji online. Um, go to our clan description, you'll find the details to contact him. And uh, we'll love to see you in the next war. So, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.